Hello learners, hope you are well. This is biology. In this lesson, we want to look at this question. It is from 2017 grade 12, paper one. This was question number nine. The question, what do we call the type of heterotrophic nutrition where a tick is fixed to the skin of a dog and obtains nutrients. Options were provided. Option A, amensalism. B, commensalism. C, mutualism. D, parasitism. What do you think will be the correct answer? Well, the question is actually under saprophytic nutrition or other types of nutrition. That is where the question is coming from. Let me explain these terms so that you understand them and the question will be very easy. Well, all these that you are seeing here are types of symbiotic association or relationship. So I'm saying all these are Symbiotic, symbiotic or symbiotic, you can call it in that way. When we say symbiotic, we are talking about the relationship or association that exists, close association that exists between two different organisms. That is symbiotic. Now we have these types here these types of whom symbiotic the first one amensalism this is a type of association or relationship in which one organism destroy or harm another organism without it being affected so here we're talking about two organisms right one organism destroy the other organism or harm it without this organism being affected it will remain unaffected that is amensalism let me give you an example we have uh, you've heard of uh, You have heard of penicillium. Eh? This penicillium will secrete antibiotic, it's a medicine called penicillin. Okay, this antibiotic. This antibiotic will be able to destroy, will be able to destroy various bacteria. Okay. without it being destroyed or it will remain unaffected. This is an example of amensalism. So we are saying penicillium will secrete penicillin that will destroy bacteria. I see that. So one organism here will destroy this organism but it will remain unaffected. That type of relationship, that type of association is amensalism. We go to the next one, commensalism. This is a type of relationship where one organism will benefit from another organism without causing harm to that organism. That is commensalism. So one organism will be able to benefit from another organism without causing harm to that organism. Let me give you an example. We have what we call tree uh, frog. Okay. 
this tree frog will use plants or use a plant for protection. I see that. Which one is benefiting there? It is the tree frog benefiting from the plant. But is it going to cause any harm? Nothing at all. So one benefits from another organism without causing harm. That is commensalism. We also have mutualism. Mutualism is now a type of relation or association in which both organisms benefit. Benefit. Both will be able to benefit. That is mutual. Let me give you an example. Let's talk about pollination, for example. We say pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the male sex cell to the female sex cell. I see that transfer of pollen grains. How does that transfer happen through agents of pollination? Let's pick a bee. Okay? A bee will be able to help transfer pollen from the male sex cell where it is being produced to the female sex cell so that uh, fertilization later on reproduction will take place, right? So, how is this benefiting? There's that sweet liquid that even human beings consume, right? That's sweet, huh? A bee will be able to benefit from that. At the same time, a plant will also benefit because there will be reproduction that will um, occur. So both are able to benefit. The bee is benefiting. The plant is also benefiting. That is mutualism. D, parasitism. This is now a type of relation or association in which an organism called a parasite will benefit from the host. But of course it will be able to cause harm. So it will be a parasite that will benefit from the host. You get that? The host is, uh, let's say, you are being beaten by a lice. Okay, you are being beaten by a lice or a mosquito. Which one do you think will benefit? You who has been beaten or the mosquito or a lice? It will be a mosquito or a lice. That will benefit because it will get blood. Are you seeing that? So, you who has been beaten, you are the host. The host. Are you seeing that? So this parasite, they live on or inside the host. Are you getting that? So in here, a parasite will benefit. The host will not be able to benefit. But it will just leave diseases on you, the host. Now, having said those, let's go back to the question. What do we call the type of heterotrophic nutrition where a tick is fixed to the skin of a dog and obtains nutrients? nutrients. Which one do you think is the correct answer? The answer here is D. Because a tick is a parasite that is fixed on the skin of a dog. This dog here is a host. And that tick will obtain nutrients. So the correct answer is D. I hope you have learned. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok and Facebook. Bye-bye.